Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Two Toe Tags Metal Reviews and today we're going to be talking about the new releases of today including Korn, Venom Prison, Persephone, and Saxon. So, big day, lots of releases going on and I guess um, you want to take the floor with Venom Prison? Because that's the only album out of these four that I didn't get the chance to check out. Sure, so just to get this out there, listening to four albums in a day is not an easy thing to do, oh. especially when you're busy at work and things like that. So I didn't really have a chance to really put a, a lot of focused listen on these, but I did listen to all four of them. Um, Venom Prison is actually the album I started with in the morning. It's called Erebos, for anybody wondering. Erebos, I think that's how you say it. Um, it's kind of my introduction to Venom Prison. I've heard them before, I've heard their singles but then my first time with an album. It was good. I did enjoy it. I thought it, from beginning to end, it was a solid album. It kept reminding me of a lot of things though. And that's something that I sometimes have a problem with when I'm listening to metal, especially new bands. I don't want a new band to remind me of other bands. I want them to sound like themselves. Um, so just a, as an example, a couple of bands that it did remind me of, and this is not a bad thing. Ginger, Slipknot, Lamb of God, Arch Enemy. Okay, that's not a bad combo. That's a pretty fucking solid combo, if I might say so. So, if you're into those bands, you'll probably love this band because it's got flavors from all that, all those kind of, you know, aspects. Um, do I have any highlight tracks? No, I didn't write anything down. Um, <laughs> I, uh, so, in other words, I basically have nothing else to say about it. I think it's solid. I would like to listen to it more. I will be listening to it more at some point. Um, but that's how I kicked off my day. After that, I went to Corn Requiem. Now, Korn is a behemoth band. They're a monster, they're super, super popular, super, you know, high god tier. I hated it. I hated it. Okay, for one, it's 32 minutes long. It's super short. And to me, it felt like they just, like their record label went, hey guys, you, you're due for a record, you better put something out. And they went, ah, fuck it, let's just let's put this out and get, get done with it, whatever. That's what it felt like to me when I listened to it the first time. I put it on again later on and actually started enjoying it. That's the power of corn. That's the power of corn. Second listen, I was digging it. First listen, I hated it. Second listen, digging it. Just night and day, just like that. Start the Healing, which was a single. I think we reacted to it. I think we, we got did. blocked, actually. It did. Um, <laughs> but that song, to me, on, on like two measly listens, was the highlight track. So I could see why they put that out as a single. It was the catchiest. It was hooking me. It was catching my ear the most. Um, so... Yeah, only on two listens, Corn was like starting to grow on me quite a bit. Saxon, Carpe Diem was the next one I listened to. Um, this to me, I'm not a Saxon fan, never really have been. Um, I'm more about the Judas Priest Iron Maiden as far as that whole British New Wave heavy metal stuff. But you get what you're expecting, right? It's got the, the riffs, it's got the vocals, it's got the, the solos. Exactly, you're gonna get what you what you're what you're hoping for with that album. Nothing wrong with it. Enjoyable listen, but not really my flavor, at least for today. My mood wasn't quite there. And then Persephone, which um, Metanoia, I think is how you pronounce it. I think Metanoia. Um, I'm new to this band. Uh, progressive death metal. Quite enjoyed it. Thought it was pretty good. Solid album throughout throughout the entirety. Um, some good instrumentals, um, good vocal range, good vocal diversity, a lot of cool grooves happening. Um, they reminded me in a way, and I gotta stress in a way because more aggressive Tool. Like Tool, but more aggressive. But I'm not saying they sound like Tool. It's kind of hard to explain what I'm going with here, but that's the vibe I was getting. Like their inspiration is Tool and they wanna sound, they wanna sound like Tool, but not be Tool. I don't know. Maybe I'm blabbing, I don't know. But overall, Four pretty solid albums. Yeah, I mean, you know, as for me, for Persephone, this is a band I've listened to a little bit, and I've loved them every time I've heard them, so when I heard that they were dropping a new one, I thought, oh my god, we gotta check it out. And the first track already has me going, oh my god, because I got the singer from Leprous as a, as a guest vocalist on that track, and I think he is one of the best ones in the game right now, personally, um, in our Einar, Einar Solberg, Apologies for that pronunciation. Amazing singer. Loved that. Great, great surprise. I was not ready for that. Um, overall, though, lots of great riffs, lots of interesting sections. There were a few parts that kind of had me questioning, like, hmm, why is this kind of a thing? Like, 
I think track four is like a five minute like interlude track almost, which is kind of weird, unorthodox positioning of a track as such. But I feel like if I'd have to listen to the album more to really, really form a strong opinion on that to see if that really is an issue, or maybe it was just a first listen kind of thing. Um, the ending of Aware of Being Watched has crazy solos. Merkabah, that's a pretty crazy strong, uh, song. Consciousness Part 3 is an 11 minute instrumental. Which and is cool as fuck. It is epic. Fucking awesome it song. Was that was crazy. As for Saxon, uh, I can agree that it is exactly what you would expect from a band like this. What I really appreciated though is that this band has had 20 something albums and they still sound good. Yep. They've been around since like 1977 and they still sound fresh. They still sound strong. Tight. The singer is still sounding good, and it's hard to do that after so many years of singing. Like, it's just impressive. Mm -hmm. And that was the main thing I'm thinking. I'm like, wow, these guys are still killing it? What? And um, there were a few moments with like, oh, cool bridge and dam busters with the dual guitars, or the riff from Pilgrimage, that was really cool. The intro of Age of Steam feels like a bridge, which is like kind of weird. Like, oh wow, it sounds like this is a bridge, but it's the intro. Like, mm. lots of really cool stuff. It's just classic heavy metal. That's just what it is. So if you like that, you'll like that album. Yep, straight up. So Requiem. Um, as it started, I was thinking to myself, this is kind of sounding like, like everything is kind of stripped down back to basics, which I kind of liked, which I guess is kind of what they've been doing for the last few albums almost. However, sonically, I was noticing there's not too much going on. It's just really straightforward, and I liked that. I'm like, yeah, this is the modern corn playing without too many bells and whistles. That kind of started to go away as the album went on, but I did like that as far as like the first few tracks were concerned. Um, I feel the same way about Start the Healing. That is a great song, really catchy. But then I started to notice something as the album went on, that a lot of these tracks are very straightforward format, the catchy hook. Like, I can see what you mean by they kind of just had to slap something together for the it, rapper. It feels, right. it feels rushed. However, the the fact that a lot of the songs are melodically inclined the way they are kind of reminds me a little bit of the Paradigm Shift, but done better. The Paradigm Shift had a lot of kind of weird and kind of like, okay, this is almost great, but kind of has a few points that are kind of eh. Overall, it does feel more well-rounded than that in that regard. However, in about the halfway point, or a little bit over the halfway point, I started thinking, I'm just kind of listening to the same song a bunch. So I kind of had an issue there, but I was noticing a lot of cool riffs. There was one part, uh, Lost in the Grandeur, there's like a really awesome subdivision, like kind of playing around with subdivided notes in, um, in the groove where they're going between triplets and eighth notes, it's really fucking cool. I'm thinking, oh wow, that's that's really interesting that they're kind of switching between that as part of the riff. Nice. I thought that was awesome. Nice. But um, yeah, so it's like the first kind of chunk of the album I, I was digging, and then it kind of started to fall off a little bit. So it really depends on if we're, you know, if we're gonna listen to this album throughout the rest of the week. And yes, I said if, because the album that we're gonna listen to this week is up to you guys. Go to our community tab right now. There is a poll right now as for what album we're going to review this week out of the four that we've talked about. So which one we're doing, we don't know because you guys are going to pick for us, whether that's Corn, Persephone, Venom Prison, Saxon. The choice is yours. Yeah, and there's not a lot of time to vote either because the poll's going to close tonight at some point. So as soon as this video goes up, as soon as you watch this video, go vote on the poll. If you watch this video tomorrow, which will be today, if you're watching it tomorrow today, then it's too late. We've already picked one. Well, you guys have picked one for us. But anyways, yeah. Yeah, and we will be making a community <laughs> post announcing the winner of such poll. Anyway, guys, that's all we got for you today. Remember to like this video if you liked it. Comment, tell us in the comments below what of these four albums did you listen to or anything else that came out today. We'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Like the video if you liked it. And remember to go vote what album we're going to do. I'm TV Fish. And I'm Bob Self. We'll see you guys later.